much the topic is just um, interracial dating, providing like this Mythbusters type thing because, you know, a lot of black males are at the point where they're like, you know, I'm only going to date a certain type of person. And, right. And um, pretty much it just provide the male perspective and the female perspective of how it makes them feel. Because I think it's like some myth in there. I don't think God, the black guys mean any home or anything like that. So just kind of like, you know, break down that barrier. Pick everybody specifically. All right. Like you see, it's it's like it's definitely balanced at the table. Young yeah, black exactly. male perspective, older black male, older black woman, younger black. You know what I mean? It's I want it to be as balanced as possible, so we can get all types of perspectives. Yeah. Um, and also, eventually, it is going to be not just all black people. Oh, eventually, know. it is going to be like a Spanish. You know, mix it up a little bit because it's it not just be. an interracial between black and white. It is interracial between Puerto Rican and black. Giant. You know, all types of stuff. So eventually we'll get there, but we just gonna start here first because, like I was telling them, you know, the blog is dedicated to black excellence and yeah, consciousness. Exactly. Consciousness. So we gotta start here first. Yeah. Because this is a statement most heard within the black community. As a black woman, how does it make you feel when a black man says, "I only date white women"? Or black women are too, and you fill in the blank for whatever your experience was. Odd maintenance. Or independent. Bossy. Loud. Yes. Smart mouth. That is not wrong. Wow. What did he say? He just said smart mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but how did it make you feel if you ever had experienced a black man saying one of those statements? It just made you oh, frustrated. Well, it makes you feel like you're not good enough. Right. Like, okay, yeah. why, what, why don't I have those qualities that, you know, what's. Yeah, what's. Guys didn't look at me in school. Guys didn't pay attention to me in school. Oh, I saw our friend. Hi, but you know, my guys didn't look at me. Like that is very. That's you what I was went, told here. We graduated yeah, from Central. Saying. You know how it was, was at our school. Black team. guys didn't go for the black girl. <laughs> they didn't go for us. They went well, for the, the black girl. Well, I. There's a difference between black and raise up preference and this is all I deal with. Right. If, if I if I was if I was to end up with a white woman or a Spanish woman, then that's fine. But when I'm alone, when I'm by myself, when it's just me, my preference is I want to find a woman like me. But the thing is, I take pride in dating a black woman, and I date a black woman that's older than me. Because I, it's just like you got to be a man to do it. That she's gonna kill your pride. You understand? She's gonna get mad. She's gonna have attitudes. Gonna that one will. Um, you don't know what another one. Will. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Why do you think people decide to date a certain ethnic background? I'm just looking at that one too. I want to hear people. Mm-hmm. I put. Um, um, I believe the decision to only date a certain ethnic background comes from your experience with that background or lack of experience with mm-hmm. other races too. Well, you know what I mean? Culture. And I did say. Uh, I also uh, believe that depends on family influence. That's what that's 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 family. My mother said, "Don't bring home." A White woman or whatever. Family yeah. influences has a lot to do with how, how you raise and who you date and who you look mm-hmm. for, what you look for in a mate. I play that role as like you just gotta play that role with them sometimes so you can hear their real insight on me as my culture, you know. And I tell them all the time, like I try to represent my culture as a young black man. And I can't blame you guys for going with the majority. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm 24 and seven out of ten males that are 24. Don't have a license, don't have a job. Well, in this particular area, so I tell them all the time, like I'm not mad at you for saying that um, you you don't want your daughter to date a black male. But look at me, we work the same job title, and I'm, I'm actually more educated than you. I just want to let you know that, like you know, what I'm saying there are guys out here, black males, that don't have that limited mindset. Like just be open, you know, you know, because. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a good candidate for you, daughter. You know? Your daughter, like, your daughter loves me. Your daughter loves me. <laughs> but on a bigger, broader pers- uh, perspective, I think interracial dating could be like could lead to like a decrease in racism. Honestly, and this is a new America filled with uh-huh. mulattoes. You know, because yeah. we get all these mixed races, we we can't be racist because we got money. Like every opportunity to raise, and what we need to do is come together and take advantage. You know, we're, we're, like we're still out here dividing ourselves, crips and blood. That's what happened in the system of origin. Kenya and Ethiopia. Like, when are we ever going to get it? You know what I'm saying? That's the problem. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not. not. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I've, I've been saying that for the longest. The biggest issue between us is us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the next. The next topic that I think I wrote down, I think that I'm going to hit on. And then.